so I'm on the way. I don't know if anyone noticed that. I just try to fix. Whoa. I just try to fix my glasses that weren't there. Usually I do that. So I'm on my way to the. I'm on the way. I'm on. Oh my god. I'm on my way to the mall right now, which is where the gym is. Because I'm trying to be finally just get myself into the gym and do what I can. <laughs> Um, I keep doing this by the way, it keeps pissing me off, so like, I keep paying for transfer. What transfer is, is basically you pay extra money so that you don't have to pay enough or you don't have to pay a lot the next time you go on the bus if you use this in like two hours. You have to use it on like a different bus. Like, let's say I'm on S50 or something, I can't come back to S50 two hours later and be like, yo, I gotta transfer. I gotta do that with some other bus, like 540 or something like that, let's say. So yeah, I'm gonna try to hit chest. Um, I was gonna hit chest at home, but the thing is, I don't have like, let's say, I like to go to the gym for chest or to work out in general because it's more dynamic. Like, I can develop my body more in like a 3D kind of way. So like, instead of chest at home where I just have to do like flat bench or uh, bench press or something, I can develop the upper and lower chest and the middle chest and just there's a lot of other movements or whatever um, I recommend you can get if you can get to a gym do it I know it's tough on the money uh, sometimes but like sometimes there's really good deals like I'm going to the gym right now for ten dollars a month like that's pretty cheap in my opinion so yeah I do recommend that but if not you can build a body at home like I believe you I've worked out a lot at home um, and I've, I've gotten results working out at home even if you don't have weights or whatever I recommend you look up body movements how to work out with just your body um, try to find maybe money to get free weights or whatever you can at home I know it's difficult at home with like other people watching or it's noisy or whatever so I, I just recommend putting in the work so that you can build up to get your own free weights or pay for a gym subscription it could be like $400 down, but you know, I think it's worth it. In my opinion, there's an environment in there that motivates you to go ahead and work out instead of just being in your own room or home or whatever. And I think overall it's just a better investment. So I know that there's this thing um, with like going to public transit or using the bus or train or whatever. I'd say you don't need to be so ashamed about it, especially if, in you, if, especially if you're in New York where I think everyone does it. Um, look, if you, are, if you do find yourself in a situation which you have to use the bus or, or public transit, I don't think there's anything to be ashamed of. We all got different places at different times, you know? If this is your life, so be it. If you gotta use the bus or train to go wherever, so be it. Who, who cares about what other people think? You don't gotta put their opinions into your mind like that. And you don't have to belittle yourself just because you're in a bus. So what if you're, yeah, so I'm in a bus, so what? Like, it, I don't feel like you should put yourself down or whatever. It, uh, like, forget it. I, I suggest forget about the stigma. Forget about, oh, I'm in a bus, I'm poor and stuff like that. If you gotta do it, you gotta do it. This is your situation, your reality. It's best to overtake and use the advantages of your reality rather than just belittle yourself and handicap yourself even more. So I was putting my stuff away in the locker that the gym has and my like my bag like fell over um, And I was just gonna leave it there and then somebody just came across picked it up gave it to me I'm like, thanks, man. They said no problem. Happy New Year. I said happy New Year That like that cheesy spreading kindness thing For real works. I feel much better bro. Just it's just that little thing <laughs> um, Trying to move on from the losses of my teachers. I, I learned no one's gonna pick that up for me. <laughs> Trying to move on from the losses of my teachers, I learned that um, they could still, I could put their like characteristics or traits that 
made me happy into the things that I do. Really, the kindest thing is about like, it, it could just be as small as how you deliver stuff or even just like, yo, you're good. That can mean a lot for everybody. But yeah, I think enough of this cheesy stuff, but it, it really works. It, it helps. It has helped me like cope and move on from the loss. So I decided to take a bus that's notoriously late. We're talking, I'm at the bus stop, I ask another bus that I'm not trying to board. Yo, when is this bus coming? Oh, you know, just in an hour. The last bus is supposed to pass, or should have passed like, I don't know, 20 minutes ago. This one is like 30 minutes away. It's quite ridiculous. I've already eaten three egg rolls and a hot dog that was really oily. So. You can probably start seeing the progress real soon. Oh, but it is really all about that um, stuff that we've all probably heard of perse perseverance and determination and stuff. It's real though, like, it's... Like, I'm, I keep eating what I, what I just ate. I'm not gonna make it, but it's just like... Like, the way I try to work out, I try to make two meals before I actually work out. Then, I try not to work out, like, over three hours after the second meal. Which is not how I went today because I tried to do a TikTok that <laughs> I had to go to back to my mom's place by foot to get the materials for it, come back to my dad's place because I had because it had better lighting, and that took like an hour. And then I realized I can't set the camera anywhere to where the lighting looks good, so I didn't make it. I don't know how I'm gonna make it. I can't set up the camera to where I can make it and it looks nice. And it's not like I have a lot of experience on TikTok anyway, so I'm just really trying here. I asked a few TikTokers how to do it, and it just, it's reinforcing what I know already. It's like Vine. It's like Vine and what Musical.ly was put together. Um, but yeah, it's a shame. Like, and I say materials. I, I didn't even need much. I needed a shirt and a finger that looks like it's a dragon's finger, finger or something, like the devil's finger or whatever you want to see it. It's like a black finger. With, with a long, pointy red nail. So if I wasn't already putting my mom through enough reversible debt, I got, <laughs> uh, I don't know if I would show the brand because I'm not sponsored yet by them. Fine, it's Minute Maid Lemonade. Um, thing is like, I thought, okay, lemonade comes from the earth, so it should be healthy. I figured I'd, I'd read the actual nutrition and see if I, if this is actually okay. Because there's certain foods that, that are like, that I eat while I'm trying to diet, like popcorn for example, because it cleans your teeth. And dark chocolate because it helps with the acne. Either way, I'm like still getting fatter, but like it's helping in some way. Some stuff like Diet Coke or some stuff, if it's like, if it's like carbonated drinks, I'll try not to drink that during the weekdays because it's like not helping me at all. If you think about it, it's, it's like poison basically. Uh, it sounds like such a downer, but really there's no benefit to it other than how it tastes. It, it just harms you. Pretty much kind of like a, a drug that's probably illegal. So anyway, I'm gonna read this off. 35 milligrams of sodium, 29 grams of carbs, 27, oh, per, I'm reading per serving, goodness gracious. So in total, 70 grams of carbs, 67 grams of sugar. and zero grams of protein. No vitamins or anything. Well, yeah, I mean, who, I mean, who needs a diet anyway? Yeah, who, who needs a diet anyway? Shake well before enjoying. Yeah, no one reads that part. It's so small in comparison to everything else in the label. No one actually comes here and reads that. I've seen it on Snapple, and it's just like, do you shake? Let me know. 
know this is, I know this sounds like the biggest bull ever, but I am gonna try to be uh, clean with the diet and just weekly round because I'm also trying to in some way be like a male model and <laughs> not professionally just I want to look like one so I figured well they have a really strict diet so I should probably how, what, however I eat whatever rules there are do it all week and while I was thinking about that on the way down I noticed <laughs> an ungodly amount of people <laughs> online to see Santa Claus which is who is here at the mall and I think they always come like um, during during Christmas that I forget what time that Santa comes yeah no I think at one point in my life I was like four years old and I cried to be on Santa's lap and then I got there and it didn't feel so magical and I think it's like not really a, a proud moment of my life but hey we didn't take any pictures so it was probably all a figment of my imagination <laughs> imagine imagine my vlog channel is just a figment of my imagination none of you exist it's just in my mind so I'm bad at keeping a diet yeah buy me another drink I realized why the hot dog I ate was super oily. I thought it was gonna be different. It's because I got it at Wetzel's Pretzels and I just saw it and I'm like, oh, that's the same thing. I wanted it because last time that I came here and I was with Terry, we got some pretzels of those. At the, we got those hot dogs at the same time. They were just in bits, but I forgot. I didn't realize that it's actually, we got them at Aunt Annie's. So, so by that logic, it makes complete sense why it tastes all different. But yeah, am I just the worst at keeping a diet? I guess so. Um, <laughs> trying to improve my body for the last year or trying to change my body for the last year still hasn't worked out. <sighs> but I'm not giving up on it. <laughs> it's just, this is difficult because I'm trying to get 20,000 sweat coins a day which is sweat coins by the way is a sweat coin by the way it's like a currency they can get when you when you walk basically it's like when I keep saying at the end of the video when you win while you walk basically you're awarded sweat coins and you can do whatever you want with them well not do whatever you want you can purchase like events and services and stuff I'm trying to get the northern lights one which is like 17 something thousand sweat coins and so for that I'm trying to walk like 20,000 a day and it kind of conflicts with like my working out a chest or back every day so I don't know how I'm gonna go through that but the bus is almost here finally after like an hour so I gotta get on it and the transit the transfer card like has expired already because it's been past two hours since I got on the first bus so even though it's a different bus from the first one I mean, it's not gonna work anymore because it, it took so long. This bus is notoriously late. It's pathetic. They can take it. By the way, I'm not gonna trust this app that tells me it's like 15 minutes away that much because I try to rely on it, and then it tells me it's like 40 minutes away. I wait 35 minutes, and then it says it's like five minutes away, and then I can't make it there in five minutes. So I'm just gonna try to get there early. You ever eat something so disgusting that you just want to take it out of your digestive system, like? I mean, this is just my opinion. The Wetzel pretzel thing I ate today, which is what, which was like a, a hot dog in like a fried bun or something, it sucked. I mean, it's my opinion. You could think it's the best thing you ever put down your throat, other than your boyfriend's Richard. But it's just, I don't. I want to throw it up. Oh my goodness. Can it be? Is it my bus? That's an hour late for its stop. It is. Please save me, for the love of God! It's been an hour. How annoying. The bus driver gave me a pass because he knows that he's like incredibly late. So the transfer worked. Luckily enough, because I have like $10 with me. So if I gave him the $10, I would have a card which would have like $10 of change left and I need that for like other things. Or at least I don't want to have a card just worth $10 just, exclu just exclusively for the bus. I do wonder why this bus in particular is notoriously late because this is incredibly late. Like, the other buses, I've never seen any other bus be as late as this one. Uh, but at least I got somebody to drive me not even home, a mile away from home, and then I gotta make the walk home. But hey, something. They dropped me off at the wrong stop! Yeah! 
I stopped, I, you press a button for the bus driver to stop and they're supposed to stop and I wasn't that late. I was pretty much right before the stop, pressed the button, they went on. Someone saw me say, oh my God, and they were like, yeah. Uh, and they were like, wait, wait, to the bus driver and they stopped at the next stop. I mean, it's not that far, really. It's like all the way uh, down there where the lights are, but still, goodness gracious, this bus driver. I'm so <laughs> This is a really good lighting spot, so I guess I'm gonna close out. Added influence, make money while you want. Link in the description. Sweat coin, win stuff while you wait. I messed up. I meant added influence, make money posting online. Link in the description. Win stuff while you walk. Link in the description. That's sweat coin. First one I plugged was added influence. Go ahead, make some stuff while you just do regular stuff. Like, subscribe, hit the bell for more. And I hope to see you tomorrow. And remember. Please drive your bus better. Or maybe I'm just completely ignorant as to how to drive the bus and it's really hard.